Keypad programming provides installers with an easy way to review or change frequently used options. It can be used for things such as adding users or points, configuring the onboard network port or plugin modules, and reporting. Before we continue, it's important to note that keypad programming does not eliminate the need for RPS completely. RPS will still be needed to configure things such as point indexes, schedules, and automation. However, through keypad programming, you can have your panel contact a remote RPS host computer to request and receive a complete download of its programming. This would remove the need to have an RPS host computer on site during the initial installation. As an example, we'll show how to use keypad programming to program the panel for reporting to a central station using the onboard Ethernet connector. After that, we'll browse through and discuss some of the other programming options. Let's start by logging in using a B930 keypad. The default passcode is 123. Select Installer and select Program. Already now, we're in the programming menu and you can clearly see the available options. First, we'll need to configure how the panel will report to the central station over the network. Select Reporting, and then select Network. Enter the Enhanced Communication Parameters menu. Press Edit to enter either the DNS name or the IP address of the central station receiver. In this video, we'll enter a DNS name. When you finish, press Save. Next, check the port number for your central station. 7700 is fine for our example. Select Poll Rate. Zero means this communication method is turned off, so we'll change it to 240 to meet UL standards. Escape back to the reporting menu. and select Routing. Select Edit to edit the primary device. And press the Next button to select Onboard 1. After that is saved, press Escape again back to the programming menu. Now select Areas. Browse to the account number and enter your Area 1 account number. That completes the programming steps needed to report alarms to the central station over the network using the onboard Ethernet connector. If you were to escape all the way out of programming at this point, your panel would start sending those reports. In our case, we'll take a quick look at some of the other options. The IP module menu allows you to configure your onboard or SDI2 bus Ethernet connection. In the RPS option, you can find settings essential to RPS programming, such as the RPS passcode. The Keypad section allows you to configure the scope of your keypads. With the Users option, you can view and alter user passcodes. The Points menu provides the ability to change the source of the point as well as its point index. And finally, 
disable controls whether or not keypad programming will remain available on your control panel. Use this setting with caution as changing it will lock you out of keypad programming. When you're finished with keypad programming, simply press escape until the keypad is back to its normal operational state. That concludes our keypad programming on the B-Series control panel video. Bosch. Invented for life.